Authorities in New York have been using an excavator to search for possible evidence at a home that belongs to suspected serial killer Rex Hewerman. The 59-year-old architect has been charged in the murders of three women on Long Island, and he's a suspect in the death of a fourth woman. Woman, rather. The victims were all sex workers, and their remains were found along a nearby Gilgo Beach. There have been unconfirmed reports they found a soundproof room in the basement of his home. Eurman has pleaded not guilty to all of the charges. Meanwhile, a notorious criminal says he sees things that remind him of himself in the Long Island serial killer. Fox News correspondent Nate Foy has details. The man known as the BTK serial killer, Dennis Rader, claims he told a reporter years ago that his clone is the Long Island serial killer. Rader called himself BTK because he bound, tortured, and killed 10 people. In a letter from prison, Rader writes to Fox News Digital about similarities he sees between himself and Rex Hewerman. Rader writes, quote, I was arrested age 59, married, two kids, husband, dad, longtime a serial killer, stalker, used electronic devices, lives in a neighborhood undetected, DNA and electronics, his downfall, much like me. Both men's wives almost immediately filed for divorce after their arrest. Hewerman's wife of 27 years did that on Wednesday. The 59-year-old is on suicide watch in an isolated jail cell in Suffolk County. Meanwhile, Hewerman's family home is being torn apart by investigators for a ninth straight day. The sheriff says they haven't identified any so-called trophies, but more forensic testing of evidence is needed. I anticipate that uh, we should be wrapped up uh, sometime next week. Uh, but there's still uh, a lot of recovery that we have to do inside the house and other parts that uh, we're going to be going through uh, the next couple of days. Authorities tell Fox, based on the evidence collected so far, they believe that Hewerman acted alone. He's charged with three murders. He's the prime suspect in a fourth murder. In total, 11 bodies were found on Long Island's South Shore in 2010 and 2011. In New York, Nate Foy, Fox News.